Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did a Spain lady inspired look. I am in love with this. I've been obsessed with the red lip and the sharp wing with the flower in the hair for a million flipping years. I think it's so sexy. I think it's one of the sexiest looks And so I thought I'd recreate this for you. I am digging it. I am digging it. I even wore like a shirt with little, little ow, with like little flaps. Man, I have like a three second delay on pain, obviously. I I hope, oh, I love this. Um, but yeah, uh, I I don't know what happened. I You know what happened? Actually, no, I was looking through my, I was looking through all my lipsticks and I came upon American Doll by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it was like, my favorite red till this day I haven't found another red like this before and I was like you know what I think I'm going to go to Spain today and then I did and then I got the flower my mom's gonna wonder where her flower went because it was from a vase in the hallway she's gonna be like Cynthia where's my flower and I'll be like what but I had so much fun filming this for you guys and let me know what you think in the comments I hope Hope you like this look. If you want to see how I got this look, Best just keep on watching. Oh, Olé! Okay guys, so now that we have the base all down, I've got the eyebrows, I've got the skin. The thing with the Española look is, um, well there's nothing natural about this look first of all, but they have beautiful full black eyebrows and they've got like gorgeous skin and then they've got the red lips. So I wanted to just skip up to this point so that way you can see you know how I do it from here because from here I feel like this is where I need to you know kind of get into detail here so I've looked at a bunch of pictures and I've seen my chair rolled around a lot I've seen they have this beautiful sultry like I can probably steal your husband without trying cha 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 oh my god I love it it looks so nice it's one of my favorite looks of all time of all time Literally, literally, since I can remember, I've always been fascinated with red, you know, you'd have a doll when you're a kid and, you know, red lips, you're just like, oh, that's so pretty. I've, I've been obsessed, obsessed with red lips forever. Literally forever. I don't know, you know, your lips feel so dry, like, you feel like if you laugh at the wrong time, your lips are gonna fucking break. <laughs> that's how I feel right now. So like I was saying, so, with this, you want to have just flawless, flawless skin as much as you can and really beautiful thick eyebrows. Um, I will do an eyebrow tutorial at some point so you can see how I how I do this, but I did want to save a couple of steps because I wanted to get into the look. So from here, I'm going to prep my eyes. I'm going to use the... Really? You're texting me now, Mom? I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extend Eye Base because we're going to do a very neutral eye. And I don't want it to budge, so I'm just gonna just with my finger. Just I like to rub it and then just pat it into place because I don't want this going nowhere. And I'm gonna push it up as much as I can without actually touching my eyebrow because I don't want to smudge my eyebrow. That's not sexy. So that's in there, just let that soak in a little bit. Now I'm going to take any blending brush. Uh, I'm using this one by Morphe. It's so fluffy and nice. Oh, so soft. Angel kisses on the face. I can't say no to angel kisses to me. Realistically, if I can get this freaking open. Okay, so I've got this gorgeous palette. Gorgeous palette from Morphe brushes. And it's just all neutral colors. I've got like the lightest to the darkest all the way over here. And it's got so many beautiful, ooh, so many beautiful transition colors. Oh, I can see it in my mirror here. Oh my God. And honestly, it has something for every skin tone. So you can really just kind of create a really good base or really, oh my God. Every time I open this palette, honestly, there's just like, oh, in the background. So nice. So I'm going to just go in with this shade right here just to cover my entire eyelid because it's gonna make blending a hell of a lot easier because there's nothing worse than when shit don't blend trust me 
I have been there and done that. I have had patchy eyes. Oh God, but it's okay, that's how you learn. So I press it into the eyelid first. In case there's any fallout, just press it, and then once it's in there, then you can just, you know, just blend all around the eyelid. And I'm gonna go all the way up to my eyebrow as well. Just blend, blend, blend. Now we want to keep the eye as neutral as possible because what we're gonna do is the wing. We're just gonna have a wing, a really beautiful, sharp, defined wing. And we don't want to take away from that. We want it to be very like natural, like oh, I woke up like this. Sort of, <laughs> sort of, but I do want to define my crease just to give the eye some shape. So I'm gonna go in with a I'm gonna go in with a darker shade. Oh, which one am I going with? Nothing too dark either. Man, I'm a mess. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go in with this shade right here. It's a really, it's, it's not that much darker, but I mean it is as well. It's like a caramel like a caramel brown sugar mm. brown sugar I like that so I'm gonna go in with a different blending brush you can see the difference here this is let's see this one here is a packing brush I mean it's good to just kind of get the color all around and this you can see it's a lot more oval shaped so you can really get into the crease with this one so we really really it's really important what brush you use I love this this is also by Morphe as well I don't know what number this is. I bought I bought like a case and it came with all these Morphe brushes and there's no numbers, it just says Morphe. But this is what it looks like up close. So any brush that looks like this, you're okay. And it does the job. I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that in there. Tap off the follow and I like to open my eye and then dot where my crease is so then when I close it, I can just follow just follow that crease line there and I'm not gonna go all the way and I just want to keep the focus on the outer corner just lightly I want just ever so lightly okay so the beauty blender that we used before to do the face there's still some product in it so I'm just gonna kind of tap out tap out no just uh, any follow that Fell. And it fell out that fell. Just sweep it away. Now, with another brush, same thing as the one that we used. I need anything, any brush that has a, a defined end like this. I want to go and just highlight the brow bone. Always gotta highlight the brow bone. So I'm gonna go in with this beautiful deep champagne color right here. You can use any shade that is just a little bit lighter than your actual skin tone. It, it'll work just as well. And I, I do want a little bit of a shimmer. I mean, I want to glow. There's nothing wrong with wanting to glow, honestly. You know, like, when you're a kid, you're like, angels, angels glow. And then, you know, like, who doesn't want to look like an angel? But anyway, so I'm going to pack the brush a little bit, and I'm just going to, just under that eye, just highlight that brow bone. Because we're doing our eyes so neutral, this is gonna give that little um, that um, you know what I'm saying? Oh! My oh brush! Mm. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to do that wing, that sharp, sharp wing. Let me zoom in. So I'm using uh, Kat Von D's tattoo liner in Trooper. It's black. I'm pretty sure it's the darkest shade she's got. I mean, well, I mean, black is like the black so you can get. Uh, I do love this eyeliner just because it's got a beautiful felt tip like this, and it's very, very sharp. So you can really get that detailed wing the way the way you want it. So what I've seen a lot of people do is they draw a line up like this and then they kind of connect it to there. So I'm going to do that because I have found that that has been the best thing to do. So I just want a very beautiful wing. I don't want it too thick either. I don't want to be like black eye and then red lips. <sighs> I literally don't breathe when I do my, 
when I do my eyeliner, I hold my breath and then I just like I hold my breath. I don't don't breathe because I'm scared if I even take like a little breath, like it's that's it. I got like two eyebrows. I can't. Okay. I'm not feeling this. It should be thin like this, but enough to shape your eye. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Give me one second. So it should look like this. So it's very, very barely there. You know, like, oh, you got a wing on. But it should look like this. So next thing that I'm going to do is put on some mascara because I am, of course, going to use some fake eyelashes. I don't have a lot going on in my eyes right now. That's why I want the fake eyelashes just to give that extra oomph. Tell about the oomph, guys. Honestly. Now, I thought I had the mascara here, but I obviously don't. I'm so prepared. So I'm gonna go in with Dior Show Iconic. I love, honestly, I love Dior mascara. I, I've been obsessed with Dior for a long time. Um, I had this is the first time I'm buying the iconic one. I've gotten the, like the blackest black mascara, and it was more for just color. It didn't really do much for the lifting or the thickening, but you know. You live and you learn. I mean, if you've got beautiful eyelashes already and you just kind of need the color, then by all means, and I'm jelly. But it didn't really work for me. So I, this one's actually not bad. I just need some, I need a base. And also, I want my eyelashes to match the same color as the fake eyelashes. Because then, you know, everyone knows you're wearing falsies. But you don't need it to look so bad that you're wearing falsies. So I'm just going to coat my eyelashes really quickly. Where I put on my fakies, my fakey eyelids, I don't know what I'm saying, my fake eyelashes. I'm just gonna give them a nice coat up here. Now I'll do my lower lashes as well, but I'm going to wait until I'm actually done. Nah, actually, you know what? It's good. I'm gonna do it right now. Okay, now I am gonna put on my fake eyelashes off camera because I still haven't mastered it, and <laughs> I mean, that's a whole other story. But I'll be right back. And this is what it should look like with the lashes. I, oh, I'm loving this. And because I, I don't want to do anything underneath the eyes because I want it to be very, everything just to be up here, very like, you know. Hola. Hola, como estas? If I do anything underneath here, I feel like it's gonna make the eyes too dramatic. And I want it to complement the actual lipstick that I'm going to use. I'm in love with this lipstick. Let me. Let me show you. Let me just get organized here. My life is a mess. So now that I've got the eyes done, I want to apply a very, very light, light cheek. Um, so instead of, I already contoured a little bit here just to shape, just to shape the face. So I'm just gonna go on top of that contour with a highlight. I'm going to actually use Starburst. Starburst in this Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. See what I mean? Like, hello. Hello. I have freaking arrived. It's just because I everything else is so neutral, so I want I want that oomph. That oomph. That was supposed to oh! So I wanna kinda just bring an extra an extra another glow to my face so I'm gonna go with crushed pearl from the same kit this one's very pale it's pretty much just a shimmer I'm gonna lightly just tap the brush and then I'm gonna do this I want I want my nose to glow and just a little bit here Cupid's bow because we're doing such a dramatic lip this Cupid bow right here very important so I'm just gonna go in there and highlight can see that shimmer and a kiss on the cheek. And last but certainly not least, this red. Am I focus yet? This red lipstick. Guard. Oh, this has been my favorite, favorite red eye. And I, I'm all about red lipstick. I've tried all different types, all different brands. This one from Anastasia Beverly Hills, American Doll, has changed my life man this is some red and you'll see 
it's totally gonna complete the look. So, without further ado, I'm just gonna have, gonna go ahead and just. You can't, oh, you can't go wrong with this. I am up freaking sass. So guys, this is the final look. This is what I would want to look like whenever I go to Spain. Hopefully, hopefully one day that'll happen, but it's very like, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. This is one of my favorite looks ever. It's like the red lip, it's like the, the wing, the hair, the, the flower. I was obsessed with flowers in my hair for such a long time. It's the only time I actually used to like cut flowers from my garden. My mom would be like, where do my flowers go? And I'm like, I'm wearing them. But I, I love this look. It's so feminine. It's so it's so sultry. It's I in my opinion, this is the sexiest look a woman could wear. Just I mean to me, there's a lot of things that I'll be like, damn, like that looks good. But this whole nother level. Whole nother level. This is mmm. Mmm. I wanna eat myself. But um yeah, oh my god. I wanna I'm I am ready to just go to Spain right now. I, I'm down for that eight hour flight because this is like, yes, yes, this is, oh, mm, this is umph. This is what umph looks like to me. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any more suggestions, any questions, please don't hesitate, just comment below. Just comment down below give me a shout let me know if you liked it if you liked it just hit the like button subscribe you know the dealio you know the rap that is what it is and I had so much fun fun um I had so much fun filming this for you guys I am literally about to go take like a million selfies of myself because I am a freaking I'm obsessed I am obsessed but anyways guys, so that is it for this week. I will see you guys on Monday. Bye!